Great ball, Dennis. Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. oh no! But Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize giving soon. Prize giving? Yes. Where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here. I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> Ha! You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Oh! Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. Oh! <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. 
It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, oh, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> If life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big toe. I remember I tied a string for my birthday. What's happening? Bring that dog here! Oh. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Oh, my God. 
and he's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Hey, <laughs> Walter, look what you've done to our ball. Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes. Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. Hm. How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, uh, uh, huh. As I thought. Uh, Mr. Bowles, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! Uh, what's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here, come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh-huh. Oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh-huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. What tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs> Almost caught.
not buy slippery, Nasha. <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? <laughs> oh. Hmm, something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino. <laughs> Face facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nash has still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> Oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Nasha, wake up! <laughs> Face, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah -ha! You've been nobbled. Don't worry, Nasha. It's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. <laughs> Walter, just as I thought. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> that, my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Nasha couldn't resist, but he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Oh, so, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's the new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter. But nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. Oh, 
Ron. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasha too? I dunno, Gran. Dog shows aren't really Nasha's thing. <laughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> what are you doing here, Dennis? This is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof! <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek, who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to, but keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the Mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor, Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> Right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm, well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out! Los Chihuahuas Bonsoleros, ladies and gentlemen. They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. No, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwoof. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <coughs> Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Minnie Wolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> <laughs> what a Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm, I'm not sure that's allowed. <laughs> Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. Uh, loved your act, Athena. Uh, so chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Vino Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Coughdrop. 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, oh, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, oh my goodness! These beastly creatures might actually win! <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew we would do it, my poochie witchy. <laughs> class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. It says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Course he's special. He's my best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. Hooray! Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Rage up, Masha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold tight! <laughs> 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 
わっ I found the ideal material for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect. I'll have my dream kitchen at last. Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! <sighs> One other thing, dear. Uh, yeah. Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> No, what we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <coughs> Dad, I want to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined. Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you. But you can't do that. It's not yours. Can't I? Watch me. No, wait. Hello, Dennis. Where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. Where 
is that boy? And take your rubbish with you! <laughs> right. The little pest thinks he's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Natcha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. would love to help, wouldn't you? Of course, Dad. Go and get the material then, son. Oh, no. Not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? in a couple of days, and without Curly on drums, even Walter's soppy trio will sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boobips. What bips? Boobips. You know, they're on TV. Boobips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect then. So, what do you reckon Curly's up to, then? Only one way to find out! Time 
for Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Ooh, bits of cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you come out. I can't believe it. He's thrown his burger away. He doesn't really want the food. He just wants the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! <laughs> News? OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him! Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. <sighs> he's going to your house, then. No, he's not. He's going to... Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? <laughs> I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips, and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the understanding Muted stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. Ha <laughs> 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 Jolly <Stop> good. <gasps> Shh. Here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boobie pin with his pals. Uh, you said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And... Can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of Boo course, Bip, Curly Bob. Yeah, Boo, OK. Uh, but... I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> it's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway... He sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants, and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. <laughs> OK, everyone, you know the drill. This shouldn't take long. A warm wind boobip! The rarest boobip of all! And now that you belong to me, Mr. Wombwim, I can use you to control that silly boy Curly. This could mean the end of the din makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis! Huh! We'll see about that! <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobip ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, almost. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boobips. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boobips. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So you'll not want the one win we got you then? Oh, no. Uh, you got me a one whim? Yep. OK, I do collect boobips. And, yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta-da! <laughs> is this a joke? Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. 
that's not a fake. Yeah, Dan should know. He made it. OK, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one, Wim. But we're still broke, then, And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one win. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bop Chaps. Oh, oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one win. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry. It's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. I'm doing gardening. I'm walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? Ah! Friends for life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Son, you certainly rocked out. <laughs> Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocked. And we've still got all that money, too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently, all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creature's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll. back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Results! <laughs> Brilliant! 
brilliant. Uh. Oh, let's do this. Whoa! Whoa! Watch it, pie face. Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir. Dennis, sir. Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs. So, Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Incoming pizza! You better get back to your sick bed. Right! Ah, son. All right! I mean, thanks, Dad. I mean, uh, oh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> oh, must be the, uh, all the dog airs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing Nasha. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but... I miss my slippers being half-chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's... Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <sighs> I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? It's time for Plan B. Sausages! I hope there are no horrible dogs about! Uh, woof, 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 etc, uh, etc. Et Oi! You nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! <laughs> Easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh! oh! All right, dog, let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Eh? What the? Oh. Ah. Woof, woof. Here I am, in the van. Woof, woof. Best place for you, naughty sausage thief. Oh. Right, who did that? It was a naughty boy, a very naughty boy. Oh, wait. What? 
was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where... where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. Ungrateful mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. <laughs> Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> 